Yo, what's up? I got something very special for you. It's a brief shoulder external rotation training input. So it's one short session that you can fit in anywhere. But the question is, why is external rotation so important for your shoulder? Well, if you're an overhead athlete of any sort, whether you throw a ball, whether you, you know, do volleyball, tennis, you're going to overhand serve, whether you go up for, for rebounds, whatever it is you do, even your golf swing requires external rotation of, of the shoulder. And this is a right-handed position for a right-handed golf. External rotation of the shoulder is required. So there's a lot of reasons why you would need external rotation of your shoulder. Not to mention, just having a healthy shoulder joint requires that you have adequate external and internal rotation of the joint. It's the fundamental movement. So, how are we gonna get started? We're gonna get started with cars. Simple, we're gonna start with our palm facing forward, our, taking our humerus forward so our bicep line is facing straight ahead. We're gonna imagine that everything else is in a block of cement. We don't want that to move. We're gonna move into adduction as we move into flexion. We're gonna note anything that we feel, any pinchy sensations, we wanna avoid that. We're just gonna to continue to move through that motion into flexion as we move out of external rotation into a slight degree of internal rotation. And as we move through this point, we're gonna hit our first roadblock here. Once we hit that roadblock there, we're careful not to extend through the back to try and sneak out more. We're going to imagine that we have a big X on our bicep that's facing our ear. We're gonna take that X and turn it away from us. Once we've turned that X away from us, so we've gone into internal rotation, we're gonna to continue to try and sneak out more of that internal rotation. Now, if you feel any pinchy sensations here, I want you to avoid that and go around it, okay? Otherwise, continue on. Also, you wanna make sure that you're not moving to the side. Remember, everything else is in a block of cement and it does not move. We just want what our shoulder can experience as we move through this motion into extension. So we're reaching behind us into extension as far as we can and we're gonna bring the back of our palm next to our pocket. We're gonna reverse that, extend back, reach for as much extension as we can. Once we hit that roadblock, we're gonna go into external rotation. So now I wanna turn that X and face it towards you. From that position, we're gonna continue up into overhead flexion. We're gonna rotate, continue to externally rotate until we come across the body into adduction. And we're gonna return back to the start. That's our first exercise we're gonna do for this small segment. All right, we're gonna do about five to six reps on each side, or you can do them for time. I like to use time because it just, it gives me a way to figure out how much time I wanna to allocate to my training. So I, if I put it in blocks of time, it works a lot better when I'm figuring out how much time I have total for a workout or how much time I have for training. The next thing we're gonna need is a dowel. Either a dowel or you can have a setup against a wall or against a door frame. The dowel is a simple one because we can now take our arm into external rotation. So in this point of the training, we're trying to get a little bit more external rotation than we have. So we're gonna start by adding a stretch. So I'm gonna sit here. 